You having a good week so far? I am. I this week's, I am. It's, this week's almost over, actually. Well, yeah, it's all right. Getting getting things done, as usual. So, did you study up? <sighs> I should say yes. Uh, a little. <laughs> I, yeah. I heard glass back there, so... That reminds me that I wanted to get a little little libation before we start. So, uh, oh yeah, I mind confirm. Yeah, yeah. So let me let me grab a quick drink and I will be right back. Okay. All right. Well, you uh, ready to to rock and roll? I believe so. Okay. I think I am. Then I will I will uh, I will welcome everybody, uh, Mr. and Mrs. America and all ships at sea. Welcome to uh, to our second playthrough. Of bag the whole crowd. This is scenario six from Stonewall Jackson's Way, continuing in our series with the erstwhile Roger versus me, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna play this one through again. We have switched sides. I will be playing the Confederates tonight, and we'll see what's different this time. Uh, I ha I have some some ideas in my brain how it's going to be different, but we'll see if they are if they are born out. Uh, as we do each every every video, let's review. I've got the uh, the scenario notes here that I brought up on my screen, and um, nothing too out of the ordinary on this one. It is a three-turn scenario. I think it took us about four hours last time. Um, yes. <laughs> we cut that down a bit because it's you know there's game time, there's thinky time, so that's that's fine. Uh, Union reinforcements will happen on turns two and three. Same with Confederates. And uh, the only objective that's controlled by the Confederates at the start is Groveton, which is the is the primary primary goal hex of everybody. It would seem in this scenario, uh, 15 points for the Confederates. If it is as we see it right now at the start with um, it's controlled by the Confederates with no Union forces anywhere adjacent. And it's uh, 8 points if at least one Union force or division or whatever is adjacent in any of those hexes. And uh, it's minus 2 points if they actually occupy Groveton, which is, which is uh, not good. Uh, if, for example, there is a Confederate division, and if there's no Confederate division anywhere near, that's negative four. So that's a that's a pretty big hole that could be uh, dealt to the Confederates on this one. And uh, there is a bonus. Uh, well, there's uh, eight points for Gainesville, and four points for Haymarket. Those are secondary and I would think tertiary objectives, but they are there are 12 possible points sitting there. And then there's a bonus of 15 points if no Union Infantry Division is uh, occupying or adjacent to Groveton uh, or occupies Gainesville or Haymarket. So if you can really accomplish that, that's that's uh, icing on the cake. But one step at a time, right? Yeah. Uh, exactly. Uh, 25 points is the marginal cutoff for Confederate victory. So that will be my goal tonight. Um, yeah, so I figure if I can pick up and, and hold Groveton, keep you away from it, that's that's 15 points. Uh, burn a couple of stations, maybe pick up Gainesville, and uh, and some manpower losses, and that should that should if the dice go my way, be about what I need. But yep. who can say? Because it's a dice game, and we know how the dice go. Uh, opening yes. thoughts. Uh, I almost, with your help, won last time. This is true. It was surprising. Uh, you did a great job coming in at the end. Um, I, I really, I, I can't take a lot of credit for that. That was just, you know, the vagaries of war of that 6-1 split at that moment. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and I get some weird points because of Banks, which I think is just oh, odd right. through that in there. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh, Mr. Banks. Yes. He just, as long as he doesn't do anything, really, he stays uh, south of Broad Run, is that right? Uh, so uh, yes, yeah, so if he stays where Pope is or farther west, um, yeah. lower hex numbers on the first two digits, along the Orange and Alexandria, then as long as both of his divisions are on there, that's a negative one point per turn. So I have to factor in three extra points no matter what I'm doing. So essentially I have to get 28 points. That's the reality yeah. of the situation. 
Yep, unless I do something, which is always possible. <laughs> it's a little weird. No, I know. I have um, a tendency to forget what it is I'm supposed to be doing. Well, you know, it's, it's one step at a time. And um, it, I, what I find great about the system, of course, is uh, not only the initiative, because we saw you get a string of six or eight in a row last week. Yes. Um, and, I mean, how, how do you fight that? That's, that's the nature of warfare. You have the initiative, so you take it. Um, with this, yeah, it's just a constant game of action-reaction. If I can make you react to me, then I, technically I have the upper hand, right? But the dice are always a variable. You can have the best laid plan, mm -hmm. the first contact with the enemy, and psh, out, the, out the window it goes. Okay, so I'm going to get us started here. Um, we, uh, we have leader transfers, and you get to do that first as the union, if there's any leader transfers that you would like to do. I do not have any tonight on okay. my side. Okay. Um, I, I liked what you did last week uh, with Jackson, so I'm going to move Jackson over to Yule to start out so that I've got control of Yule and AP Hill in a, in a quick step there. Um, but it all comes down to the first initiative, and yes, you is. may do the honors. Okay, here we go. Uh, Union left, Confederate right, for people who aren't familiar with the... <laughs> I win it. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, th this is... Well, let me go ahead and I'm going to activate um, McDowell's core. Uh, which is Ricketts and King, and in this scenario, Reynolds is included in That's right. McDowell's Corps. That's right. So he's technically our Army of the Potomac. Potomac. The yeah, movement roll is a six. Oof. You are giving me a challenge tonight already. Well, let's see. Um, okay, I'm going to move. Ricketts first. I want to stay in the gap. Okay, that's probably a good thing. One, two, three. There's three left. You cannot move into that hex because that's a mountain hex. Right. Yeah, McDowell's an 18, so that's a it's super duper large 18. force. Yeah. Yep. He's going to have to stay there. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'd say you have blocked the gap. Hope so. And initially. Neither. One of my first day objectives, just to state it out loud, is... Uh, really, I did spend some time looking at the unit. Siegel is just that whole core is really useless, isn't it? <laughs> Poor Siegel. I mean, no. But he's going to have his big days in the valley late in the war. He will. He will. But uh, man, you know, no small ratio. <laughs> no tactical. It's like, geez, these guys are just a mess. Um, I'm going to activate Siegel. All his divisions. Well, not all his divisions. Steinware, Shank, and Shirts. Now, if there is a gaming deity that is fair and just, as I did last week, when you roll for Siegel, you will roll a one. That's right. That's, yeah, that's kind of his thing. That one night was a difference. <laughs> it was an exception. Um, okay, here we go. One die roll movement point. Oh, Six it is not a fair and just gaming deity. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, in this one, go. one, three. Six. He's got plenty to get into that stat. But poor luck. Initiative. Hi, yours this time. Well, as we said earlier in the in the prologue to this uh, action reaction, 
So you have done your two actions, and you are making me react to those decisions. Uh, so, if you were going solo, how would you react to what you just did? I would... I would take Longstreet to Hopewell Gap. That is... That's what I'm leaning toward. Um, there, are, there are two schools of thought here in my brain. Uh, one is... I can go north or south. Um, south seems a little circuitous through the mountains and, and all that. Um, but it gets me onto the Warrington Turnpike. And if things go my way, I can kind of get in front of Reno and build a, a bulwark there. And maybe mm -hmm. cut your forces in two. Uh, the shorter route, slightly shorter, because theoretically I have you know, better rolls, uh, is up through Hopewell Gap, 3017. And then that gives me all kinds of possibilities there at the fork in the road in, in 3017 depending on whether I want to make a play for Haymarket or uh, reinforce Groveton. So uh, I think I'm going to do what you expect, which is in solo mode, you would go for Hopewell Gap. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to activate Lee's and uh, Longstreet's entire core, except for Anderson. And uh, we will give him a plus two, which is six. Largest part of the force first. Vanguard one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll keep him there for now. And take the second largest, which is Kemper, and he'll follow along behind. And let's look at our friendly movement values here. Entering friendly, so up to eleven plus three into mountain. So theoretically, one, two, three, four, five, eight. So we can't do that, but we can get some of the lesser ones down here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, and three is six. So that gets Evans to there. Uh, initiative. It's you again. So I have committed. What are you going to do? I'm going to activate Dal's core again. Oh, first. Three, so it's gonna be a four. One, two, three. And king. This extended march. Four, he gets plus one, so the five, so he's fine. I think he gets plus two. One for being union and one for non army oh, That's right. Yeah. So that is a six. So he does disorganize. He does. Whoops. Always forget about that uh, non army tonic unit stuff in these games. One, two, three, four. Now I have Ricketts with his extended movement roll. Same thing. We know how you love that. He flips. One, two, one, initiative. Sounds yours. Okay. Gonna seize the opportunity here. And Long Street will move everybody to F2. Then a movement roll of plus two, four. I'm gonna have some extended marching here. So one, two, three, four. Uh, extended is just straight up. He's okay. And he's going to force march. So we'll 
flip him. And get a... Ooh, gets a plus five. Oh, he loses all. two manpower. Kemper, his extended march. He's okay. And he's also going to force march and get just two, but he doesn't uh, disorganize. So he does disorganize. I mean, he does. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't lose manpower. Excuse me. Yes. Yeah. I was. I was already thinking ahead in my brain about uh, where, where right. I'm putting him. Uh, let's see. And he gets, a, gets an extra two. Right? Yeah, so he has six total. So we go one, two, three, four, five. And then uh, Hood, extend march. He's okay. He also force marches. Getting an additional two. But he loses one. He's going to go one, three. two, three, four, five, six. And then... Let's see. Wilcox will extend in March. He's okay. He will also force march. Getting an additional three. And losing manpower. So he's got seven total. We'll just go one, two, three, four. His extended march. He's okay. Okay. Initiative. Yours. Activate hooker. Find some. Just move it forward. Four thirty five. Yes. Right. Jackson activates. Jackson activates uh, AP Hill and Yule. What do we get? Plus two! Five. Uh. AP Hill, one, two, three, four, five. Jackson, one, two, three, four. Five. Okay. Initiative. Back to his old, old stomping grounds. Yep. Yours. Activate Reno's core, which is Stevens and Ferraro. Here's their movement. Three. Tide means it's yours. Okay. 
Jackson will activate Tolliver. Let's go to F1. Transfer to him with a plus two die roll. Seven. One, two, three. And he has four left, but no need for unnecessary bloodshed at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Initiative. Mine again. Now you're going to be on this show, but <laughs> Remember the ratio last week was 12 to 1 combats, and you know how superstitious I am, so. Uh, Anderson's going to march. Oh, Anderson. Forgot about him. Yeah. Uh, plus one. Three. One, two. Initiative. Good. So let's do Anderson again. And his extended march. Oh, first his march roll. It's a five. His extended march is okay. And we're gonna force march him. <clears throat> so he's got five, he's going to get an additional three and lose a manpower. So eight total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Initiative. Yours. What are you up to? As far as... Anderson. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Nobody knows about Anderson. He's just, you know, he's the Obviously, black sheep of the core. Probably trying to set up some sort of flank attack, I guess. Maybe. On day two. He's got you thinking, though. That's what he's really yeah, there for. That's yeah. not a good thing. You don't want me thinking. <laughs> Active kerning. I'm sorry, not Kern. Reno. Steven's in the Ferraro again. So they work for the next level. Here's their movement. Nice. Seven. Gives me some options here. Um, Steven's extended march roll. Plus three gets two, four, five, so he's okay. He's gonna go one, two, four. Uh, no, didn't go that far. I'm not gonna go that far. And then where I was gonna be able to go. Hope I need to do his extended march before I get too excited. He does flip again. Anderson open to come in rear, so this could be an important uh, initiative here for day one. I get it. So now I'm going to activate Kearney. That's good roll. Movement. Five. No, it's four. He only gets four because he does not have any additional points. Right. Four. I'm on the other side of the creek. Here's the initiative roll. This one's yours. Okay, F. Lee will set fire. Oh, yeah. Apparently. To Burke Station. Yep, I'm moving first. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you who hand watch our stewards, so. That's that scenario was. Your great scenario. 
All right, so we do that, and we get low our first victory point. Oh yes, indeed. Yeah, it's worth one. Is it one or two? Just one. Yeah, one, one per. Um, I think so. Now you got me down myself. Uh, yeah, it's one. I, okay. I've got the rules here. Yeah, it's one, okay. one for each railroad station. Good. Okay. It's two, two total. Gotcha. Okay, initiative. Yours. Great Porter. Core, which is Morel, Sykes, and Platt. Here's their movement. It's a five. Platt first. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, four, five. You can move in there because it's on Platt's only two. And Sykes is going to move five. Four. He has to stop because he doesn't have enough million points to move into the next hex. Initiative. Me again. So I'm going to activate Porter, Morel, Platt, and Sykes. Here's their movement. Three. One, two, three. Okay. I could do this fatigue. Sorry. There's T, next level. There we go. Initiative. Me again. Everything's coming up Union. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of initiatives. This, yeah, that's... You, this turn. You got them last week, you get them this week. Every Buford? Dice. Nine. Move one, two, three, four, six. This can be on move run for now. Initiative. Me again. Probably. Oh, Beardsley is it? Oh, and he is exhausted as well. I'm gonna go ahead and activate him. Here's his movement. He gets a whopping two. Uh, Gains of T. He's gonna roll for it. So, sitting backwards March, on his saddle. He flips. Good grief. <laughs> okay, initiative. Um, follow me again. Um, this is an embarrassment of riches for the Union. It's all... It is. And this is where, strategically, I need to be a little... Okay, what are you going to do? I don't want to pass, because you might pass at this point. Because you're a possibility. pretty well set up, I think. Because you got me... You're threatening Haymarket, that left, my left flank, your right flank. Um, and you're threatening also my right flank, your... And um, you've got Grove Town now in good shape. Um, and you got Anderson sitting out there. And you know my... I've stated several times, I hate to see guys flip on extended marches. And I could always just do the stupid thing and just activate banks and see if you win the next initiative and see what you do. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, there's certainly okay. nothing wrong with, with bringing him up, because he is, yeah. as we stated, the insurance policy. He's just an extra core if you need him. Yep. At the cost of three victory. So here's his dice roll. He's certainly getting the movement rolls tonight. I can't I can't complain. Yeah, I mean, I, you can't always, because there's always that one you need and don't get. Um, oh, okay, I am aware. So. <laughs> Six. 
five. Roll for initiative. This time it's you. Now let's see what you're gonna do. Uh, F. Lee will march to F2. Oh, yeah, F. Lee. Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, he gets a plus one, two. Wow. He is, there you go. He's ready. His extended march is good. Yeah. So we'll pick up that point at Vienna. Yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna presume that he's going all the way to Vienna. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Look at that. Yep. Yep. Okay. Initiative. It's yours. Okay. We'll bring up Porter. This would be Morel. Flat. Stakes. So all three of them. I'm gonna roll for movement. Three. Taking them to four. fatigue level three. That's just gotta chafe you a little bit. It's gotta chafe them. It does. It does. It does a little bit. So next level. I'm gonna plat first. I should get one. I'm gonna plat first. So that's an extended march. And they are. Porter is. Just plus. Yeah, I'm just plus one. Atomic. Yeah. So it's just a plus one. So we'll move plat first. And then the Manassas Junction. And Morel, his extended march, he's fine. And it rolls four. Stacks are not going to be as many. Four. It's extended march. It's just six, so he does what? Of course. It's a four movement roll. Four. Initiative. Me again. Yeah, I'll do uh, banks again. His movement roll. Five and six. You're up to something, <laughs> man. <laughs> me? You don't trust me at all? It just, it just occurred to me you might be planning to. Hammer banks here at the end and drive them across broad run. In case I need to move them. Well, what's neat about that is all I have to do is get him off the railroad. Because if he's not on the railroad, he doesn't get the points. Yes. So he gets a point each turn. So he get the point this turn. Right. Right. Hmm. 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 Okay, I'm gonna leave him there because I don't want you to drive him across broad run. Mm, okay, I'll have to worry about that. Great, thanks. Give, give me more to worry about. Okay. Um, Suddenly, you know, the Confederate PSYOPs division is, is working overtime. Yes. Okay, uh, initiative roll. Me again. Well, he's got to pass sometime. What do I want to do with that? Do you have a note written down, by the way? Do not attack on turn one. <laughs> Who, me or you? <laughs> me. <laughs> that is probably For a, me. That's probably the best <laughs> note you've ever written. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not attack. Right. Turn you one. may want to. There's, <laughs> there's zero reason for you to attack anything on turn one. It just um, reminds me of you for T Justice. You may think it, but don't do it. Do it. Yeah, I did that last time, and you actually said you could hear my brain saying. <laughs> And it was just true. It's exactly what it was. I bet I can do it. But this time will be different. I could do it. That's it, everybody <laughs> in Vegas. Watch that. Well, you're in Atlanta. Watch last week's video. You'll <laughs> find where we're talking about. Um, I am going to pass. Unless there's a unit somewhere I've forgotten. About. Mm, um, he has passed. All right. Yeah, I'm going to pass. Well, I'm going to take the opera. I'm going to seize the initiative and go to F3. And Burn that damage station. Vienna Station. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. Boom. And we get another point. Hooray. I think I went to, uh, I think I went flipped, so I had to you wait. You flipped, right. And, and you were waiting, and then and you were sitting there on, on uh, turn two, and then Franklin came along and said, move along. 
out, drove me out, and then, uh, I was hoping to sneak in and get a grab a quick point in the game. But. All right, uh, initiative. That's me again. Talking out loud, yes. I've got Groveton how I want it. Uh, all of Jackson's units are at fatigue level one, meaning they will cease to be exhausted, so they'll be fresh in day two. Uh, Longstreet, uh, tired. They've done a little bit of force marching through the gap. Anderson, Anderson has a couple of fatigues, and I'm curious to see what I can do with him. Um, because he's not, he's not in a pos great position to do anything significant right now. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna activate him, take him to fatigue level three. And he'll get a plus one. Hey, good, that's not bad. Roll. And he gets an extended march of plus one. And sadly, that's a seven. And he is a manpower 13, which I think is two losses. Let's see. Uh, two losses, yes. Disorganized manpower greater than 10. So he's going to lose two, but that's only one step, really. And yeah, now it's two. Uh, and he will go seven, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, initiative. It's you again. How does that make you feel? How would you react to that? Yeah, for a moment. <laughs> right. um, on that, is it manpower or is it combat? It's a uh, manpower. Combat. Uh, for extended march, it's manpower. It is manpower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's why those super large union ones are always getting hit hard by it. Yeah, which I guess is historically accurate. Yeah. Um. I have given Roger I, pause. Okay, so you're heading south. It does free Kearney up for something. I'm going to activate Kearney. He's going to go to T2. Maybe it's a three. I'm guessing Kearney wanted to pursue? Well, I was wanting to move him close enough to Heinzelman to where he's in his command radius. Mm -hmm. But 30, I can't get him to 33, 23, because that's a rough frame. That's five moving points. Well, thirty-three twenty-two will work. Oh yes, it will work. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was trying to. I was. <clears throat> so I think I'll do that. Yeah, okay. I think that's kind of getting what I wanted to try to get done, but not quite. Sure. Uh, initiative. I made him react. Well, Kearney was kind of freed up, so he had. Sure. And then caught. I mean, I wanted to get him somewhere. That wasn't quite where I wanted. Uh, me again. I'm gonna pass. Okay. Uh, I will activate Anderson to four. And he gets a plus one to this roll. Gets five. Uh, his extended march is now a plus three. And it is a six, so he will lose one manpower. And he gets one. Four, five. Initiative. Yours. Hmm. I'm going to pass. The Union has passed. Well. You wanted combat? I'll give you some combat in turn one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jackson will attempt an assault on Heinzelman and Pope. So we'll go to fatigue level two. And here's the command roll. It comes That's off. Easily. Okay. So what I show is... Uh, 
here you got your notes out too. Uh, we got plus one for the assault. We got plus one because Jackson is there for his bonus. It's the train. We got a plus two for final flank because I got five hexes covered. Mm-hmm. And minus one for artillery because we have the exact same four batteries each. This rolling train. Yep. And I believe I have the ratio 14 to 13, so I've got that covered. Yep. No ratio. So no I'm fine. showing a plus three for the final assault. Do you concur? I am. Okay. Good crime. All right. So we got USA CSA plus three. Here is the roll. And it is a plus three. Plus three. Thirteen, so that's a one DR. And I also have a one D or one F A, big F. So that will uh, take him all the way up to four. It does not disorganize him, which is great. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I will let you work out your retreat. Please. Yep. So two. tell me, what is your highest priority? Nope, that's not it. It's not. Because that's my zone of control. There's one area that oh. is not in a zone of control. Yep, yeah, i got to go to 3723. That's right. And then your second one, you can go anywhere you want, as long as you don't come back closer or into my zone of control. So I've got to go to 3724 or 3623. Because I can't go to Bethlehem Church because that's the same distance away. Um, well, no, because you're on this. You're on chart two now, since it's a small R. So you have any. Basically, your only priority is don't go closer to me, which is just the standard. But also, don't go into a zone of control of mine. But you can go to any of those three that you like. Oh. Yeah, because you're not exiting one of my zone of control now. So yeah. Your highest priority is just, yeah, not enemy occupied or my zone, which is fine. So any of those three will will meet that criteria. I think I've always read that as I can't. This isn't closer, which is absolutely true. Correct. Yeah, it's it, you were two away, and you're still two away. Yeah, I think I've always read that as I got to go further away. Um, I want to go to Bethlehem Church. Yeah. Now that's uh, what that's what chart one is for is farther away. Yeah. Everyone's farther away, but then chart yeah. two is lenient. Um, I think Bethlehem Church is where I want to go. That's probably a good place. Uh, yeah. We will um, will not advance. Uh, I've given us both a manpower loss and uh, oh, okay. Uh, initiative. It's me again. Uh, I'll pass. I think I'm going to pass as well. Okay. We will click recovery, and uh, I'll see if. It has any problems, and we'll end the day. It is time to move on to turn number two. I will advance the game marker. Before we do anything, let's let's talk about what has transpired. Because we do this, we'll do our Monday morning turn one quarterback. Uh, what do you think? What what's up with turn one? What are your thoughts? Um. Well, one of one of my goals for turn one was to mess with Longstreet, force him to go. I think I should have. I, I missed an opportunity. And that's because I was I wanted to get Siegel somewhat consolidated and out of the way. Okay. But I think I had an opportunity with my movement role, you know, and it's like after I you had started your role and I should have moved him up to Hopewell Gap. Yes. Um once once you uh once you saw that I was going up there and you had enough points to put someone where Evans is now. Yes. Um, I, Reynolds specifically, I, had it been me, I would have just said, well, you've committed to Hopewell Gap. Have fun. Get get past this crossroad. And you, you pulled up short, which is a conservative play, because I think you, you assumed I was coming down that way. Um, yes. I, I, 
I think I think I mean, and I'm and I'm trying to I'm trying to read the Kittle's mind here. Uh, I, I think you're overvaluing Haymarket to me. Perhaps uh, probably. Perhaps seeing probably. it uh, through the prism of, of John Pope, uh, I I that's not my primary. I mean, my primary is secure Groveton and and more if possible. Um, how I do the if possible, that's that's the X factor that I've got to make you think about. Um, so yeah, if you had if you had blocked me there, I would have been in a real world hurt because either at my that choice is I fight it out and and waste blood and sweat and treasure getting through that crossroad briefly, or I circle back and say, okay, back out of Hopewell Gap, let's let's try going through White Plains again and either Thoroughfare Gap again or go south. Um, so I think that that was a grand opportunity that was was lost uh, for you in turn one. If 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 we're making notes uh, in in the after action report, um, yeah, yeah, I think that was that was a definite mistake on my part. And, um, and even and I kind of get because you were getting so many initiatives, uh, you got a second chance then when you saw that okay everybody's I, I've moved Lee and everybody up, uh, and and Kemper and Wilcox and all them are are kind of not stranded, but they're there, and I didn't want to move them farther, uh, you had a chance to make life kind of miserable for them there. Um, but I, I understand that you like to... You're, you're setting it up, and you're defending Haymarket, and uh, yeah, that's not a bad play. It's just uh, you're presuming that I, I care a lot about those four points, and that's that's my lowest priority for turn one mm-hmm. I, I, I was looking at the, this last attack how about backing out getting quite um backing a uh, hooker out one to well i'll let that attack ride i figured that's what you were setting up <laughs> and i let it ride um I, w- I, I was i was frankly really surprised when you passed uh especially when i put anderson into play like that because uh, you you were describing, it was like, well, oh, you're setting up the the forks and the and the flanks and everything, and I said, well, he's he's gonna he's I, I I've lost my opportunity. You're gonna move Hooker out of there, um, but you you played it, and so I mean, that was like the bare minimum since we both rolled a one, and I just had the plus three. But you know how I am. Plus three is kind of my threshold. If if yeah. I can get a plus three, then I'll and I've got Jackson. I'll I'll go for it because worst case scenario is we both get fatigued and that slows him down slows uh, Heinzelman and Hooker down for day two but best case scenario here was well I, I got him I got him out of play a couple spaces which was what I was hoping to do I wanted more of course I would have really liked to to demoralize him but uh, I'll, I'll take the small R so I, that was a debatable move but I, I thought uh... And and I and I only did that because Anderson got the, the yeah, six got march to position. Greenwich. And, yeah. Right. If I hadn't gotten the five to get him over a broad run, then I, I would have I would have probably harassed Banks somehow. Yeah. But, um Okay, well uh so thoughts on turn two then. Well, I need to um I, mean, I was looking at this before you, you came back online. Uh, you're, you're overvaluing Haymarket. I figured you were going to come down that uh, from the north. And I think now, obviously, you're not because of what you said. So I need to get uh, McDowell's core down the war to turn back. And, 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 I, and I may yet. I mean, I will react to what McDowell is doing. I mean, obviously, yeah. I'm going to look for opportunities as they present themselves. So, if he pulls back out of there, well, then now I've got a I've got a flank there that I can I can work on. But right now, turn one was trying to concentrate them over towards Groveton, which yeah. only only partially worked. Um, and to try to, uh, I don't have to win this turn. I mean, I, I, that's what <laughs> exactly. you know, I, have a, I have a really bad habit of wanting to have at the end of the day win as opposed to at the end of the game win um because that was the other thing as i was thinking about moving porter up to support hooker uh to take away your plus one flank right and 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 that was a that was one thing that i was kind of 
a possible that would have been another benefit for me is like if I can get Porter to F four, then yeah. I've slowed him down for day two as well. So yeah, I, and those are the kinds of little things that I you know it's it's resource management. I think about those things that if I can make you to react in a way that I find beneficial to me for the future, then that's that's usually going to drive my actions. And to some extent, having Hooker at Bethlehem Church is not terrible for no, me. No, I mean that that is a, that is an entire front. I mean that's I think that's historical. Had they had they stopped at, at Manassas Junction and and as we know gone up to Centerville and everything, but if they had just come back from that point, then oh. that that they would have set up a line along that you know the railroad there. Yeah, that that you know. Historically, I should have, you know, historically, I'd be kind of interested to just kind of make, maybe do a recording of it. it oh, the actual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, to, to move, because, okay, what did Pope know? Pope thought everybody was at Manassas Junction, so right. everybody ran to Manassas. Right. Well, you know, Hill takes the wrong road to Centerville and ends up, or Centerville goes the wrong way. He runs away to Centerville, so it kind of loops around and comes in from the, the east there yeah um and i think that's why in the in the back of the book there you know afterwards it says the game is history so he's he 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 outlines joe outlines all the individual you know if you wanted to set up a little recording you could say okay then you know day one they moved here then here then here um that yeah. that would be interesting to do you've given me an idea yeah. uh, I maybe, <laughs> maybe i'll do that uh, oh <laughs> usually when i this is my thought when somebody tells me if I'm doing something and somebody says, you know, if I were you, I'd be doing it this way, I'd just go, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm doing it my way. Well, yeah, well, no, and that, that's why I, I, I sit silently when I can, when I, when I feel you thinking through all this, when, you know, the, the stuff that I cut out during the, the thinky time, and I was like, what, wow, what is, what is his thought process here? And, and I can tell you're, you're agonizing over this, this factor or that factor, but uh, I don't want to. I don't want to tell you what to do, other than like you know, last week I uh, throwing the nugget out there about overland marching is not always a bad thing. Yeah, you know. Um, um, I, I'm trying to really look at the combat table and go, okay, disorganization is not terrible. Right. I re- I'm starting to review our past plays to the point of okay. Oh, sure. My little notes I'm adding are like. Small compared to but in, the in, amount of mental notes I'm making as I'm like, what the hell but if you I look at if you look at the teeniest tiniest nuances, like for example, when I put when I put Jackson and Tolliver there, just in front of Heinzelman and Pope, did you uh, you know, it, regardless of whether or not I'd even gotten Anderson anywhere near to set up a flank, he was a check. All I did was put him there because knowing you as my opponent, and I know and and Pope, that had he been the aggressor and said, well, I'm going to attack, what's the first thing that I noticed was, oh, you're a 13, I'm a 14, I've already got yep. you at 1 to 2, so yep. go for it, you know? And uh, so if I can put you in a position where you're already at negative, negative, negative on your attacks, I- I'll let the dice fall as they may. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Which I would have attacked. I, I know you would have. <laughs> first first week. I know you would have. Second week. That's right. Third week. Do it again. Fourth week. <laughs> it's gonna work the time. So uh, yes, we, we the Padawan is learning, right? No, oh, learn something. I think I'm a little smarter. No, we'll see doing, how we'll see how day two goes here. Yes, um, let's do day two. Let's give you your uh, reinforcements first. Uh, they go all to all right. Yeah, we'll uh, they go to okay, Slocum. There we go. You're the one who gets Ripley. I do. All week you had me saying it like Newt from Aliens. Yeah, I think my guys start. Uh, there we go. Okay. At the T1. They start at T1. Is that what it says? Uh, so I got them to go a little farther <laughs> than they were supposed to. So you're going to get one movement with them in turn two. That's, that's hardly worth the effort. You have gotten your reinforcements. I've gotten my reinforcements. You get the option for uh, leader transfers. Now, did you give me my point for... Uh... I did not, so I will give that to you right now. Thank you. That's a harder I'm point right there. Every point I can get. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, and I need to advance the... Oh, I did advance the turn marker, so we're good. Okay. Pot's right. You can go ahead and talk it out. See what, see who you want to... I mean, some of them, it's, they're not moving very far, but you've got options Siegel's with Pope and, and Heinzelman. Siegel's staying put. Oh, to King. I'm Pope. I think it makes sense to move him to the Ninth Corps. Put him in the middle of his army here. That's everybody. Okay. I believe I will move. Long Street up to Wilcox. And Lee down to Jackson. And uh, Stuart will stay where he is. And um, I had the last one. I think I had the combat, and then yes, and I think then, that's correct. Right. So I will roll for turn number two. Here we go. Off and running. It's mine. Okay. To, uh, we're going to activate Anderson. Go to fatigue level two, and he will march. Plus one, he gets two. That's just what he needs. Uh, his extended march. Let's see six, so he will lose a manpower. And he will go one. Two. Initiative. It's mine. Jackson will activate his entire core. So AP Hill and Yule will get one. And Tolliver goes to two. Hill will go into Groveton. Did you do oh, no, I didn't. Excuse me. Uh, I was <laughs> doing a movement, uh, uh, my, uh, just a basic movement roll for him, but uh, yeah, movement is plus two. Six. Okay, well, that may change things. Uh, to there and so oh, that's interesting uh, Tolliver he gets an extended march roll he's okay and he will get one to there and that's it see just minimum one for everybody Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, initiative. It's me again. All right. Well, we'll take a shot. Um, Tolliver will uh, be activated for an assault by Jackson. Uh, his command roll is a failure. Huh. So that was unfortunate. Uh, because dice. Uh, initiative. It's yours. Okay, I have the initiative, eh? Mm-hmm. 
trying to decide whether I want to move Hooker up 37-22. Put some pressure on Tolliver. Or do I want to use Porter to drive up the Manassas, uh, what's that called, Johnston Rail? Can I use the Johnston Rail? You can, yeah, because we're in 1862. Um, drive Stewart out of there, which clears that path up to Grovetown for Porter. Given, I know what you're going to do next, but you're going to probably try taking on a shot at Siegel. A lot of dice rolling, though. A lot of dice rolling. And you know how I love dice rolling. Yes. Um, <laughs> it always ends up so well. At some point, I need to bring Dow's core over east. I'm a new hooker. He's going to pick up a fatigue. I'll roll for movement just to see if I get something exciting. It's a six. No, he gets a four. Five. He's not within Heinzelman. Five, yeah, I'm sorry. Right, yeah. He's just going to go right there. Let's another hex on Tolliver. Where's the initiative roll? This one's yours. That's the battle roll that I was hoping for right there. Thank you for using that oh. now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good split for you. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Okay. Uh, well, we will we will take a second shot. I will fatigue level four Tolliver. Uh, Jackson is activating him to assault Siegel's position. Uh, it is a command roll of one. Oh, perfect. It's the the orders are much more legible this time. Um, okay, so we are now going to request from Lee a grand assault so, four or less we'll get Anderson in there uh, so he will go to fatigue level three and here are the numbers so we got uh, Jackson versus poor Siegel for the Battle of Gainesville it is a plus one assault it is plus one for Jackson, plus one for Lee, because he's in there too, which is why I moved him there. Um, we have a plus two on tactical, and um, we now have, I have eight pieces of artillery and you have six if I count it right so artillery is in no effect and oh, I'm trying. Uh, you have 18 people and I have 19, 19 I so nothing on that uh, there is no creek in my way and I've got a plus two flank which is a minus two because you've got two friendlies nearby actually that's not true I've got uh, Yes, I've got plus two, and, and you've got them both uncovered. So there is no flank. So I see a plus five. Um, so at the very worst, <laughs> I roll a one and you roll a six. We are even, and that's the way we like it. Um, so here okay. we go. For all the marbles in Gainesville, uh, plus five. Call me. That's superstitious, so I'm going to type it out. CSA. <laughs> plus five. Uh, here we go. Plus five. There we go. Uh, oh. So it's a plus eight plus result. Eight? Yes. Um, how many did I have? 19? Uh, yeah, 18. 18. No, well, a little bit of a difference. Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, so four, four DR. DR. Double demoralized. Double demoralized. And I have a 19. See, it's I a panic. Just, uh, yes, so just an advance. Uh, 
Okay, so, looks like their clear path of retreat is, uh, 3321 to the northwest. But they can also, uh, yes, because that is not in my zone of control, so that is their highest priority. Yeah. Somewhere near my tomorrow takes your marker that I missed the thing. <laughs> but luckily you're not taking oh. any, uh, any losses on the route out. All right, I think you're good, right? Yeah, I okay. think that's finally done. Cool. Um, now I have a big question: Who's going to advance in? I'm going to just advance Anderson in and take control. And that way, if Heinzelman comes at him, he's got a creek to deal with, and that'll offset with his. And if Pope comes from there, okay. Um, so we have Gainesville for the moment. We'll see what happens. Uh, initiative! It's me again. Alright, Longstreet will activate his core up here. We'll go to Fatigue level 1. And get a plus 2 to their movement. Seems about right. Uh, get some, lose some. Alright, um... Let's go... One, two, three... Three... Initiative. I don't think I had any extended march on them. They all went to one, so initiative. It's you. Okay. I'm activating McDowell's division, so there's King, Reynolds, and Ricketts. Right, the movement roll is a three. Points left, so he should be able to. Ricketts can move three. Oh, and a team marker. Initiative. Yours. Dow is building for a fight. Okay, Long Street will. Activate everybody uh, in range, including DR Jones. So these guys will go to F2. DR Jones will go to F1. And do we get a plus two to this roll? Nice. Ooh. Yeah. Eight. Options. It does. It gives me all kinds of logistical puzzles to um, Longstreet will transfer to J.R. Jones. And he will go one, two. He has six remaining. So he will make a prepared attack on Hooker. Alright, so we got uh, plus one for prepared, plus two for tactical, and a plus two for flanking, and it's a uh, two to four on artillery, so it's a minus one in rolling. And we both have eight, so the ratio is covered eight to eight. So it looks like I've got a uh, plus four attack. That's what I have, plus four. Okay. So 
You don't get a modifier for long street. No, 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 I don't. Just his, uh, just his tactical. Right, here we go. All right, so it's plus three. Oh, that's needed. Three, eight. Eight, eight, so plus one three. DR. So fatigued out. And one DR. Manpower. Let's see. R. Let's retreat to 3723. Thirty-seven point four. Just get a fatigue. Two, two big ones, and uh, since I got fatigue, uh, I don't believe I can expend the remaining points. Uh, may not expend anymore. Yeah, March is terminated. Okay. Question is, do I want to advance? Um, I like him there, so that gives me options in the future. Uh, we'll move on to the rest of the guys. They have eight. Oh yeah, got all those guys to move yet. Yeah. Yeah. We just need to set up something. Who have we got? That's let's see, five, five, six, five. So they're all they're all great guardians, <laughs> but they're not great for attacking Ooh. things. Uh, so we'll start with Hood. Hood's extended march is a six, so he will lose one. And I think we'll uh, one, two, three, four. Five. Eight. Uh, Wilcox, extend march. He is okay. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Put him into Groveton. Kemper, extended march. He is also going to lose one. Get six, seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll do that. And uh, Evans, back him up. Evans extended. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five. Put him there. Okay. We got a bulwark. Initiative. It's mine again. Jackson will activate AP Hill. And he'll go to F2. And plus two. Seven. Good. So he will he will stay there and uh, we'll roll the next initiative. It's mine, so critical. Uh, Jackson <laughs> will activate AP Hill. Go to F3, and they get three. So that's five. His extended march. It's just a straight up. Ah, flips. Now, like you, my initial reaction is, ugh, he flips. But, you know, he goes from an 18 down to, oops, to a 12, which, yeah. okay, you know, it'd be nice to have that. But looking at everything that you're trying to surround with, you know, when he comes in and joins Anderson, he's still going to be an 18, which, that's okay. 
and Jackson is going to ride along with, everybody's going to ride along with. Uh, so they will slide into there. Okay. Initiative. It's me again. Pope is busy writing his uh, communique <laughs> to Washington about how the great victory the he great is. Victory. He just won. Yes. <laughs> we hold Haymarket and their apple I'm turnovers. Lighting up a, I'm lighting up a cigar and. Uh... Right. <laughs> um, I'm going to pass. Passing? I am passing. another now what was that note that you wrote to yourself earlier do not attack what's that <laughs> do, not do not attack do not try to win it on the end of the day right try to win it at the end of the game but uh, uh, but yes I, well, just in general this is yeah I mean, that that uh, you get an AP home to really change that whole dynamic there right. so we're going to do something a little different uh, one of the different necessarily um I'm going to activate Porter's Core here in the south. Okay. Which is Platt's Brigade, Sykes' Brigade, and Morell's Brigade. Okay. So here's their movement roll. Seven. Gonna activate Morel first. So he picks up a team. Be one, two, three, four. He has three movement points remaining. Against Stewart. He's been busy digging in. Yes, and uh, right now they have. Oops, that delete. Uh, they will retreat, and because they're at a th three, they're a very large force, um, and they will get a plus three for Stonewall Jackson's way. So uh, here's plus three. There you go. Oh, so very those, good. Those all four. Yep. And they'll go one, two. Three, four, five to center go. Platt One, two, three, four, five. Looks like and this should have moved forward to a different. Okay, I didn't do that, so it's my fault. So oh, um, communication order. I'm going to stop there. There's the initiative. Me again. I'm going to activate Morel. There's his movement. It's three.
It's an extended march. Six. He is. Ari is this one? He's not, so he goes to the sword now. Let's speed up here. This should roll. Well, I, I'm gonna roll for movement. Yeah, six. This is extended march roll. Once he's okay. One. That's Platts. Okay. Just gonna go. Yeah, do it. Yeah. Oh, but uh, initiative. Yours. Okay. Um, did I do extended marching? Yeah, I did. You did. Yeah. Um. Longstreet will activate DR Jones to go to F4. And you get plus two, four. This extended march is now a plus three. That's seven, and he's got a 12 manpower. So. So he loses two. That's fine. And then we'll go one, two, three. <coughs> yep, we'll do that. Uh, initiative. It's me. See what uh, Franklin can do with Slocum and Smith. Yeah, roll one a big six. Big one, six. One one movement roll here for them. Yeah, that's good. Right. There's your six. Five. So we get to go six. One, two, six. Slocum. Initiative. You again. Okay. Uh, I'll activate F. Lee. Where is Lee? He's way up at Vienna. Oh. <laughs> and he gets a plus one to that. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, initiative. It's yours. What are you thinking about? Well, I'm wondering if I should attack Evans to get. start trying to open a road to Grove Town. From the north there, along that path. South of. or not south, north of Gainesville. Reno has got 13. How do you think I might react to that? Well, I assume... I mean, you got your guys now are all pretty tired, so you're going to have to move. you got Ewell's division is really the only guy you have in that area that's left. So I have to move him north. Which opens up the possibility of bringing Banks into the action, which is... <laughs> go, Banks, go! Throwing a point away, or two, versus potentially stealing 15 points. If I can somehow get you to open up a, 
something on either of the one of these flanks because I've got trying to open up, figure out you got so many troops and you can only cover so many options. This is true. You know who was really good at that? Robert E. Lee. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take these 12 guys, go over there. Now take these 15 guys, go over there. We got one artillery versus I've got four on rolling trains with the plus three. I just kind of forgot the odds. So here. yes, let's. That's a that's a great thing to do. Um, so that's not no artillery doesn't count. You got five. Of, I can get both two to in. One, right. You got it potentially two to one if if they both come in. Now it's a plus. If if we're going with the existential question, is this something you need to do right now this turn? Yeah. Yeah. That's. I don't think it is. Um, I know you want to, but it's a plus one is what I've got, and right. that's if I a plus two if if the core assault comes on. Right. The the, the pro being that yes, you drive me out of there, and you're on that railroad now, and you're one step closer, potentially fatigued for the day, and then I have to react to that somehow. But it doesn't yeah. it doesn't put you adjacent to Groveton. It just gets you no. a step closer. Closer, right? Uh, like Haymarket last week. So it doesn't really... I mean, it's a plus two attack is what I have. Because there's no... And you will, three... you will force me to react, without a doubt, whether I react yeah. immediately or at the beginning of the next turn. That that just depends on how, how successful it is. So the other option I was looking at was do I not attack, which is probably was where, where my <laughs> mind was, was at when you when you asked the question. That's um, always, that's always do... a, good, a good answer. Is do I go ahead and bring Banks into play and go ahead and throw away obviously my point now, or do I leave Banks where he is, get my point now? So what's the pro of bringing Banks in? What? How do you think I will react to Banks coming in? Because I've got Hood, um, I've got Hood and Yule there, kind of blocking. You got Hood that. and Yule there, so you're going to move them. You're probably going to leave them there. That's a safe or, assumption. Or yes. Depend, depends on what my. Obviously, how far I go. If right, I get right, right, one, right. you're just going to really leave. Because you, <laughs> I get one, then I'm just going to move one space and stay on that side of the river. Well, you're. I mean, from my point of view, you're not likely to go to Hooker through Hooker because that slows them down. Yeah. And that puts you into a flankable position, right? Uh, yeah. So more than likely, you're going to go around up through towards Manassas and Bethlehem Church, yeah. which means I've got it covered and blocked. So I'm I'm not overly concerned about it. So, pro for me, negative for you because you're losing points. Is yeah. is that worthwhile, or can you do what you want to do with Porter later on? Yeah. Which is kind of where I was kind of looking at. It's just um, you getting Hill into Gainesville made it significantly more difficult. That that was my intention <laughs> <laughs> to give to give you a moment of pause. Going well, yeah. how badly so, do I want Gainesville? Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Buford of all people. It's it move seven. Initiative. Rules. Okay. I didn't initiate. Uh, I will. I will march Anderson to fatigue level three. Uh, he will march in place, but he gets a plus three extended march roll, and that will lose him a manpower. But he's going to put a flanks refused marker. For the whole division, or for the whole hex. You said you got a plus three on it? Uh, yeah, because he's, uh, he's exhausted going to four. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, that is what he's going to do. He's placed the phalanx refused. And initiative is yours. 
can we be for it? I'm gonna pass. Okay. I want everybody to get some rest. <laughs> rest is good. Uh, we will march Ripley down here. <laughs> Ripley. How about Ripley? Ooh, Ripley. Uh, plus one. Hey, there we go. Just like last week. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Initiative. Ripley again. And plus one. Five this time. Three, four, five. Okay. Initiative. Ripley once again. Three plus one. Seven. Extended mm. march. It's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, oh, that's, that's annoying. <laughs> Initiative. Yours. You want to deal with that at all? I don't think it's worth it today. Um, I'm going to pass. I will look things over. And... What things over? I, I will look things over. <laughs> and uh, I will... I will pass as well. We will end the day. Set up Ripley in a nice little flanking position. <laughs> Would you get two sixes or a two, six and a five? Two sixes and a, and a four. Four? Yeah, so he went, uh, what, seven, seven, five, so 17 miles. Yep. Yeah. Uh, mm, no, 19 miles. Organized. 19 miles. Look at him. All right. Um, didn't disorganize. And did not disorganize. We will recover now. Let's see what mayhem occurs with these. Day three has arrived. I think all everything went okay or has been fixed on our recovery. And as we do each every week, let us do our turn three review of the victory point standings. Um, <clears throat> right now, as it stands, I have 15 points for Groveton with no Union forces adjacent. I have 8 points for Gainesville. Oh, I should pull up the chart there. Let's see. I have 8 points for Gainesville. Um, I have 2 extra points for Burning Stations. So that's 25 points. And I'm currently sitting at plus 5 on the manpower side of things. So that puts me at 30. 
minus two for Banks's shenanigans. Uh, so that <laughs> that puts me at twenty-eight right now. At the beginning of turn three. It's a marginal victory for you. It is a marginal victory. Uh, I was I was hoping that I was going to get the extra fifteen bonus points, but then I realized you you can't be in Haymarket either. So uh, just by you being in Haymarket, no bonus for me. No no fifteen extra points, which I wasn't counting on, but you know it's a nice padding. So turn three thoughts. Before we uh, um, before we do our reinforcements, uh, I have to let's see. So I have to get Gainesville or Grovetown, I think. Or if I can get next to Grovetown, you lose points. Is Grovetown you just have to occupy, or you have to? I have to or... for the fifteen. I have to occupy it like like it is right now. Occupy with no Union forces adjacent. That's fifteen. If you have at least one adjacent somewhere. Then it only that becomes knocks it down eight, to eight. eight. Eight points, right? Cost you seven, right? So that would bring me down to a twenty-one, and then I got to work a little harder, right? Presuming, of course, that Banks is going to not move, and I'll lose another point, right? Which is, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see <laughs> exactly. <laughs> we Definitely no contemplating it's... moving Banks into the, even trying to do something with him here. Hmm. Okay. Um. Whether I do or not, though, is very debatable. So, since we like to discuss battle, combat strategy, and things like that, you do have three possible outlets to eject me from Gainesville, just like I had for Groveton last last week. Uh, so, three three different people can take shots. Pope is in range, and so you can do grand assaults. Um, I'm sitting there with 17, so I'm going to get at least 34 in there to do a 2 to 1. Uh, I've got 8 pieces of artillery, so you need to get at least 10 in there to cover that. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got a flanks refuse, so nobody's going to get a flank bonus, because uh, you're up 2 and then down 2, basically. Yep. Uh, and of course, depending on whether Heitzelman does it or McDowell does it, uh, you have a creek in front of one of them. Uh, whoever initiates the assault is the one that has to deal with that. If they come in on a grand assault, you don't have to you don't have to fret about that if they weren't the initiator. Uh, but Ripley's sitting back there, so depending on how frisky I'm being, um, I've got Heitzelman's in a in a partial flank right now. Uh, so in, uh, that that might be something that oh, I yeah. consider. He's he's got uh, he's got a five hexes covered, but you're got one friendly, so at least I'm going to get a plus one on that. Um, but uh, let's put reinforcements out. I think now you're going to get Sumner, and he's going to mm. go into the other one. I think Barcroft's mill. No movement restrictions on turn three for either core. Great. Okay, and I'm going to put Hampton down here at 1610. Ripley came in. And we are on day three. All right, so it's over to you for leader transfers. You put him on sixteen thirty three. Is that right? It's sixteen ten because of the overlap. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> gets, yeah. It gets a gets me every time too. Okay. Um, leader transfers. Um, I'm gonna shoot seal. Is that allowed? <laughs> no, it's not allowed, is it? I'm going to remove Pope. Or to move Dow. Okay. That's my only leader transfer. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to, for the moment, I will move Long Street to Wilcox in Groveton. And... I'll move Lee over to Long Street. Yeah, and uh, Stuart will stay where he is. And that brings us to the four. Uh, I, you passed. See, so you activated last, so I think you won. So you can okay. do the honors and roll the next initiative. Okay, here we go. It's mine. Hi. Goes to you. Okay. Right. Uh, Ripley will activate. And he will get a movement of plus one. That's a five. He's going to slide one hex to there. And initiative. It's me again. We will activate Kemper to march. Um, and I'll activate him with Longstreet plus two. Yeah, I think it's four. Um, no extended march roll. So we will just slide him one hex up here. And. Yeah. Okay. No initiative. It's me again. Um, Long Street will ac activate Hood. <clears throat> and he gets a plus two. It's a six. Oh. And he'll go one, two, three. Initiative. That's me again. Uh, I will indeed pass this time. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to activate Ricketts. Marker. Here's his movement roll. Four. I ended activating with McDowell, who's right next door to him. Said that I didn't. So hex there. Forty-eight. That's a lot of people. Yours. Pass. You understand why I'm passing, right? Yeah. Well, well you aren't really have. Yeah. Why would you? Pass right. Something? Right. I mean, <laughs> come get some. You're just, <laughs> you're just, just going to burn fatigues. Exactly. Um, I mean, you're you're putting the set pieces into play, and it's it's on you to make it happen. So I I'm not inclined to adjust anything. But I can tell. I mean. I'm going to launch a core assault with McDowell, but I'm only going to initiate one of my three divisions in this hex. I think. So you're definitely in for, for Ricketts so far, right? He... Yeah, that's that's going to be how I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm going to roll core assault with Ricketts. So he's going to go to negative, not negative, fatigue two. So here's his core assault roll. It comes off. Now I'm going to try a Grand Assault with Pope. Okay. So I need something... 50-50 on this one. Four or less. No. Three or less. Three or yeah. less. Four, it's no good. I get a three. Okay. So now I can pull in... One full hex worth of... One full hex. So I could either pull in Reno's core. Well, let me let me put that in another way. You can pull in an additional hex, but you get to choose which pieces come from that hex. 
Oh, it's not the whole hex. No, it's not the whole hex. You get you get all of the resources from one additional hex. Your choice. That was you had to take in the whole no, hex. You're not, yeah, you're not committed to, to everybody. It's just that's the number of additional hexes that may participate. Now, if 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 I were you, and you see that I have seventeen in there, um, like we discussed last week, the the goal is either to improve the artillery, to make it not a negative, or yeah. improve the ratio to get it at least plus one, maybe plus two. But with seventeen in there, it's very hard for you to get a three to one on me, unless yeah. you had multiple multiple hexes. Yeah, and I've only got the one hex, so I'm trying to. So I've got. If I bring in everybody in McDowell's hex, which is his whole core, right. that gets me to eight. Uh, that gets me to 11 to eight, which is a plus three. Right, so that would cover your which, artillery, so there'd be no negative on that. Um, but it wouldn't get you to three to one, it would only still yeah. be two to one. So. Two to one. But and Reno gets me another. But the or artillery, which just is one one thing to to put you. Just look at that attacker's forty eight column. You know, because if things go south, the bare minimum you're looking at. If we tie, the is forty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the downside to this in turn three is that this is this is your your big shot, and if and if it doesn't go well, you your smaller piecemeal attacks are less likely to succeed. So, this is your big punch. Um, yes, it is. That was... Well, I, uh, I mean, I gotta make this sooner or later. Oh, I sure, right. Sooner is yeah, better yeah. than later. Right. Um, um, I think the best route looks like to me. It'd have been nice if I could have thrown in another hex. Just hit with McDonald's entire core. Yes, but if you hit with just King and Ricketts, that's enough to cover me two to one. Because that'd be 36 to my 17. So oh, bringing Reynolds in yeah. is is overkill. If, if you just do the two of them, the actual King... Ricketts, McDowell. Yeah, that gets course. me. That gets me. Yeah, it gets me on my ratio. Right. Thirty-six wasn't getting me to my. Right. And you're still, still you're still one. minus one on artillery, but that's you know that's offset. It makes more sense to go with just King. Okay. The final. Yeah. So you got plus one for assault. You got plus, plus, one, plus for one for ratio. ratio. Minus one for artillery. And minus artillery one for Jackson. So it's a zero-zero attack. Exactly. Because I don't get a flank. Because don't get a flank. Right. You don't have any terrain at the moment. No terrain. Let's do a hide on the terrain. Yes, I'm not attacking down a creek for a change. <laughs> and you block me from bringing Hooker up, which is my intent. Right. I, I sniff. I sniff that one in the wind. <laughs> right, at least plus one. So this is a zero zero attack. It so here we go. Plus zero. It's a zero zero attack. Zero zero. So you go to Big D. Okay. Uh, I had mm, seventeen, so I, Big D, and you had thirty six, so you're gonna I lose go to three. three D. Yeah. 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 Do you understand why I hate <laughs> making attacks in this game if it's not, you know, if it's not a sure thing? And it's never yeah. a sure thing. That's the problem. I need three. I need three. Three D. Yeah. Initiative. Me again. Okay. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> it's time to bring the big guns in. It's to bring Seagull in to save the day. Um, <laughs> somewhere. There's a, a, an adjutant in, in Pope's camp going, those were the big guns, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Franklin's Corps, Smith and Slocum. It's 
On their horses and ride. Get a plus three to this roll. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Initiative. It's yours. Activate uh, Franklin's core again. Just one movement roll. Four. And I'm going to declare a force march with Smith. Do I do that at the end of the movement or at um, the beginning? I think uh, we've been doing it so that you do it just right. At the beginning of the march, if you don't have any extended okay. march, you just say, I'm going to do that, and then you flip them, and then you just add it okay. to it. This is the first march. It's two. Which one does cost him manpower? It does. It gives him a minimum of two. It decreases. It picks up a minimum of two, so it's going to be six for him. One, two... Sulcum will be the same. This force mark roll. Also two. It's more of a gentle nudge march roll. <laughs> <laughs> there, I mean, decreased it. Um, he also gets a six, is that right? Initiative. Initiative, yeah. Okay. Uh, you again. Me again. Steve Sumner. Send to a Richardson and Kimball. Is there a movement roll? Three. So you can go three and four. Mischief. This one's yours. We will activate Hampton down here. Gets a plus one to that cavalry roll. So it goes eight. Initiative. Let's see again. Uh, Hampton again. Plus one. And yeah, not great. Seven. One, two, three, five. 
six, seven. Initiative. Yours. Activate rounds with a dowel. This is movement roll. Three. Dowel and Pope move with him. Initiative. Hide yours. Ripley will go to fatigue level two, and he will march plus one. It's a seven. So he will go four, five. Would you like to make a cavalry retreat? Uh, actually, before I do that, because uh, he went to extend, uh, he's got to do an extended march because he's F2. Uh, Should have done that before I move, so he's okay. So, would you like to make a calf retreat? Uh, yes, I would. So, when you're seven? Yeah. I'm seven. Definitely want to do a calf retreat. So, here's his retreat roll. A six. Very nice. He's a two. So it's just straight up, so I lose three. He's retreat four hexes, straight up the road. Oh, way too far. <laughs> right there. Okay. Uh, You're going to take Haymarket, aren't you? We'll see. Initiative. It is mine. So Ripley will go to F3. <laughs> and... Let's see, his extended mar oh, his first, his march is two, his extended march is a flip, so he will flip, and he will take Haymarket. Uh, initiative. Yours. Um, activate Kearney with Heinzelman. Here's his movement roll. It's a two, so that's a three. He's just gonna go one, two. Mm-hmm. They have thus adjusted the pressure relief valve there on the southern flank from Gainesville, which mm -hmm. is what I was hoping to do. Initiative. Yours again. Okay. I need to do this because I have a little bit of a padding in the manpower department. Uh, I've got eight on my side, so I can be a little more cavalier with Jackson. Uh, so he is going to activate AP Hill for an assault on Reno. And we'll see if it comes off. Was Hill at take three? Did you he was at three. I just, I just moved him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here's the assault roll. It does. Barely. It's barely. Yes. Um, okay. You're going to do a grand assault, aren't you? Uh, well, let's look at the numbers right now. Because um, I have some I have some pluses and minuses. So, Jackson versus Reno. Uh, one for the assault. One. One for Jackson. Uh, Reno is a three, right? So plus one on tactical. And I believe I've got um, just a plus two and then a minus two on flank. So no flank, sadly. So artillery is four to four. So it's a minus one. And a, you have 15 and I have 12. So that's a minus one on ratio. So as you can see, being a little cavalier, um, I have three up and two down. 
There's no plus one. Um, but doing what I wanted to do again in the toolkit, you know, I, I'm, I'm getting you some potential fatigues, if not completely ejected. Yep. Uh, so USA, CSA, plus one. Here we go. That's a DD, I'm guessing. Maybe worse, Ooh. but that's okay. It's, uh, plus zero. So 15 is D, and 12 is D. 1D. 1D. So I'll take it. So I get three fatigues on that? Yes. This organization. And my manpower change, or my combat effectiveness changes not at all. All right. Uh, initiative. It's me again. Oh, yeah. Ripley will march in place. And here's his movement. It's two. His extended march is a plus three now. It's okay. Fine. Right. But a flank's refused. Initiative. I will pass. I'm gonna activate Seagull Core. <laughs> Just come on, Seagull. Um, get Bayard out of here. He's gonna go back to that same spot. I'm just gonna get his guys out of there for now. Um, I mean, the entire stack can move collectively. No, we can't quite move collectively, can they? One of the Shanker shirts will have to stay out. Well, depending on what they get. Yeah. Um, here's their movement roll. Five, yeah, so it should be okay. six. They're battered, they're bloody, but they've got a plan. I do have a plan. And lots not of schnitzel! <laughs> I'm not saying it's a good plan. <laughs> there. Initiative. Yours. Now, I'm just curious, um, your rationale for that. Uh, at some point, I'm going to attack, um, Ripley. Okay. And your flanks refuse. This gives me a plus one, I think, flank. Well, they're all demoralized, so they don't contribute to flank coverage. Oh, they don't? No. Oh, well, then that was pointless. Well, I, I, I didn't want to presume that that was just out of that error. So if you'd like to roll that back, you can. Uh, I certainly can't hurt him. Um, all, all they could do is change my retreat path, but I have roads either way, so... Yeah. Know, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay. I mean, he could, he could certainly attack... Um, and I'm not saying that to encourage him to do that, but his attack will be one on each of those demoralized guys, so probably probably not great. Four to five? Yeah, I mean, hey. Well, let's see, uh, four and a half. Steinware is a half. But uh, one, one, two, three, it'd be three and a half to five. But three and a half to five. Not terrible. <laughs> 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 and you have an inf you have an, you have an artillery, so yeah. that's uh, another minus one. Right. Uh, exactly. No, yeah. I. I uh, that's fine. Okay. I will take Hampton to fatigue level three, uh, since he's Hampton. he's significantly. Uh, if, or is it? He's yeah, down is. here, in New Baltimore. Uh, just coming from the blacksmith shop. The blacksmith. Ah. Uh, plus one. He gets eight. His extended march. He's a six, so he's now a two instead of a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Initiative. 
Mine again. Pass. Oh, I'm going to do a core assault with Kearney against Ripley. Okay. Let's see if it happens. It does. So I see That's you've got a plus one assault, plus one ratio, plus one flank, and... Plus one type. Oh, that's the assault, yeah. So assault, oh. ratio, and flank. Plus one each. Plus three. Yep. There we go. Ooh, boy. There, there we go. That did it. So that's uh, eight to one is a plus seven. Mm -hmm. Five is a two DR. Okay. So very nicely done. That's a big old swing of points for you. So, 2DR. Alright, so he's going to go 1, 2, um, he has to not go into a zone of control. So he'll go 3, 4, and we'll hold it there. And you may take Haymarket for a yes. net total of six points. Oh, get back there. I'm going to march into Haymarket. Okay, that was something. <laughs> well, we're, we're keeping Heinzelman busy over there, so as long as he's there. Okay, plus seven, yeah, it was just an advance for him. Right. Yeah, it's course salt. You can't go any further. Okay, uh, initiative. Yours. Oh, and I uh, forgot to put a demoralized on Ripley there. There we go. Uh, let's do a quick score recap here, just to double check. Uh, Fifteen. Uh, eight for Gainesville. Two for Stations. Currently looking at, uh, well, the two is offset by, so we'll remove that. So 15 and 8, uh, and then I'm winning the manpower losses by 5. So I'm at 28 right now. Uh, thus, I will pass. You will pass, eh? Will. I would have liked to have kept Haymarket, but, you know, things happen in war. Actually, that cost, cost me quite a bit more than just the six, because yeah. by having that, I had the extra 15, too. Mm -hmm. So, clutch play, Heinzelman. I'm going to activate Reynolds. Well, all right, with McDowell and Pope. So he goes to T2. He is not exhausted. So he's just going to go one hex over into Reno's hex. Or like that. Initiative. Doors again. So we'll do this. Uh, Jackson will activate Tolliver to fatigue level 2. And he'll get plus 2. Oh boy, that's tempting. He will transfer to Tolliver. Okay. So send in March. And he's okay. Uh, they will march in place. Initiative? It's mine. Okay. Now we'll attempt an assault. Tolliver. Tolliver's activated to F3. Uh, he's attacking Pope's stack. And we get a command roll of... Oh! Dice! You Ooh, me? that was so... Uh, okay. Alright. <laughs> Let's go. Initiative. It's yours. This dice get me every time. 
only when it's important. But that's why we play the game. That's right. Um, okay, so what I'm thinking is um, the rule I was looking up, and I guess I'll say this out loud okay. so you can, um, is I do not have a flank on Gainesville. Correct. But, but you have a flank's refuse marker up on Gainesville. I do. Which gives me a plus one for all non-flank attacks. That is correct. So that's the rule I was looking at. Yep. As soon as Heinzelman walked away, that uh, just became kind of a liability. Yeah, now, so I kind of on, on any one of my activations, I could have removed it. I could have just waved my could've hands and removed it. But Yep, without penalty. Right. Um... um So obviously you're wanting to attack my stack, hoping for even a worse worst case result for you um, is I become disorganized. I believe I don't even. Well, that, that's what I was running those numbers. If if, uh, if yeah. I had attacked on the march and things went horribly, there would have been no effect on you. Yeah. Uh, I closed the gap a little bit by trying the assault, which failed. Yeah. So now. Do I, if I can get Heinzelman in with Kearney, that gives me a ratio, which I don't have currently. That's if I get pulp. Sure. sure. If, if, yeah, there's so many how, how, far, right. how far do I extend out my ifs? Right. <laughs> if I can get, but, if I can get the initiative and if I... Exactly. <laughs> I thought Tolliver would have been keen to go in, but no. Yeah, you know, sometimes he's tired. He is tired. Jackson is tired. No, he does. Oh, Jackson wants to go. It's just his subordinates are like, nah, I don't think yeah. so. Um, we got real coffee today, sir. I think I'm going to have to gamble here and hope I, all those ifs can fall into place. Okay. Um, so I'm going to roll movement roll for Kearney. Okay. He's already exhausted. He's fatigued too, so here's his movement roll. And of course he draws the one card. <laughs> somewhere so, somewhere the dice gods heard you say that. So we're even going next level. Here's his extended march. He's okay. But yeah, I think I need to move him into Ricketts. Initiative. It's mine. Here we go. I'm going to attempt a core assault with who? With Reno. He's got a good number. He's got a six. His core assault. They both come in. Here's my grand assault with Pope. No, it doesn't sir. happen. No. That's okay. It happens. Yeah, that's, that's it's, it's Pope. Yeah, that's why he's uh, got the reputation he has. So, the attack has to happen. Right. I can't say no! <laughs> Wave off! So you're looking at plus one for Courier assault. Courier doesn't get to, so this is going to be a 10 to... 17. So minus one ratio. That's minus one. Mm -hmm. Artillery is... Four to... Four to eight, so it's a negative two in rolling, I think. So that's negative three. No, yeah, negative three. Mm -hmm. Uh, Reno is a three three, so tactical is even. But you're gonna get a plus one for that flanks removed. Plus one for flanks refused, mm -hmm. so that makes it minus two. That's correct. And I think that's everything. Minus two. I don't think there's anything else to take into effect here. Okay. No terrain. Is there a creek there? Nope. Oh, no creek. 
So it's a minus two. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Nice. It's a minus two. It's a minus two. So you get a fatigue, which doesn't affect you at all. And you had ten. So ten. Two D. Two D. So I lose two more guys. Increase. Well, I think that was worth a shot. Sure, you gotta try. And initiative. Yours. I'll go ahead and take that flanks refuse marker off now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it matters anymore. Well, so. I don't know. Behind someone's got a shot. He could. He could take a shot. Well, that's true. I've got that one so shot So I'm left. not going to give you a free modifier there, since since we have some manpower in our favor. We will try the Tolliver activation for an assault with Jackson uh, on Pope once again. Here's the command. Proceeds. So we get a plus one for the assault, plus one for Jackson, plus one for his, re his uh, tactical. And now, let's see, you got, you got the two, four, you've got eight, and I've only got four. So that's my minus two artillery, and minus one for the ratio. And I do have a plus one flank on you, because I got five covered. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Okay. Minus one That's for your friendly, fun. so plus one flank. Plus one total is what I have? I have four up and three down. Yep. So plus one. On any normal day, I'd hate that, but if I can use it to end their day and I'll go for it. Uh, here we go. And it's a plus one. Plus one result. I right, got what you wanted. Yep. Oh, I picked up a not a victory point. Um, are you over 19? Or you're... I was 19 exactly. Oh, wow. Okay. And then I was uh, 12, so it's 1D. Actually, it's, a, it's an offset. We both got one. Oh, is it? Yeah, one D. Oh, okay, yeah. So Reynolds goes to decrease. Eclipse. Let's decrease him. Flip him. More importantly, he goes completely to T four. So that kind of ends. Almost ends the battle of Gainesville. Initiative. Yours. What you thinking? Um, manpower loss. It is, uh, I'm at 5 and you are at 12. Let's see how far Summer's core is gonna go. Um, just make some activate Summer and his two divisions. Well, three divisions. Richardson, Kimball's Brigade, Kimball's Brigade, and, uh, Cedric's Division. Oh, good gravy. So, I'm going to declare a force march. I'm just going to flip. There's this force march roll. He gets a one, so he doesn't lose anything. He just gets a two. So, so I'm just going to move these guys. There are two. He's in the wrong order. He's gonna go two. He's just gonna go one. Initiative. Yours. 
I will pass. Passed. I'm going to move somewhere again. Mr. Loop and two divisions and brigade. Some of the five. Stand march roll. It's fine. Stand march roll. It's fine. He's extending my fold. He's fine. Initiate. Mine. So initiate Franklin, Smith, and Slocum. Movement roll. She's a one. <laughs> Actually, uh, it's just a two, because you're used to playing the uh, Confederates. You are correct. <laughs> it's a two. <laughs> um, this is Smith's uh, extended march. And he is already flipped, so he loses a man. manpower. He gets to go a whole whopping two, so he goes one. One. Got one left. Does Mr. Lee choose to cavalry retreat? Um, is it two? And Franklin's a Franklin's big, and he he's a he's a seven. Oh, but he's down to seven. We got a creek across the way, so we'll stand. You would stand, wouldn't you? you? Would stand. Okay. <laughs> he does not flee. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so that's going to be, uh, let's see, I got one movement point left, so that's a... Hasty. Hasty attack, so that's minus one. Is that right? Hasty attack, it minus is. one. Uh -huh. Seven to two is a plus two ratio. Uh, plus one for tactical... And artillery is three plus two on clear train is no effect. So it's a plus two. Is that right? Uh, so we got a minus one for hasty, minus one for the creek, uh, plus two for the ratio. Right? Is it is it two to one or three to one? I'm just three uh, to one, right? Seven yeah, to two. So plus two for ratio. And um, there's no plus and plus two one for the tactical. Plus one for ta tactical. Right. So uh, you got uh, yeah, plus one total. Plus one. Yep. Oh, good grief. Okay. Got to get him out of the way. I'll do it. Plus three. Plus three. And he is a two, so that's a dr for me. And. Uh, Couple fatigues for him, so he's it's done. And I think he has to go go one, two. And we'll have him continue, continue on there. to join the cavalry down here. <clears throat> yeah. Slocum can move too. No, no, he gets a team. And March. He moves a guy. One, go back there. One, whoa, what do I want to send Two. 
Initiative. Mm. Okay. Uh, Stuart will activate the cavalry. And we will get 13. Wow. Well, Jeez. Yeah. Plenty of them. Plenty of them. And they will just uh, they'll move out to here. And, mm -hmm. and initiative. Yours. Okay. Well, I'm going to activate Slocum with Franklin. Okay. I'm going to move Franklin over to Slocum. Here's their movement roll. Five. That's a six. Uh, extended March roll. Slocum. It's going to be a plus three. Two, so he's okay. He's okay. So he's going to launch a paired attack. Which leaves him with movement two movement points. Unless I wish to run away, of course. Unless you choose to run away. Uh, Slocum is up. But, this is... Most this is Stewart's moment of triumph. It's a five to three attack across a creek. He's gonna stand. He's gonna stand. Okay, it's zero attack. It is a zero one. attack. Yes. You are using your cavalry much better. Cavalry. <laughs> Cav. Okay, here we go. Uh, even up. No change. Ooh, plus three. Plus three. Uh, plus three, and I had this a DR and a fatigue advance for you, so he's just done. So it did accomplish what I needed. Two, you have to retreat two steps. All right, so they will just come back where they where they were. I'm not going to advance, actually. Okay. Almost like you're being a traffic cop or something, like patting with the tanks. Miss you. You can. I will pass. Really? Really? Okay. Stunning. I'm I'm not inclined to do anything until I see what mischief Porter is going to try to cause. I'm gonna activate Porter. We all have two divisions, Morel and Sykes and Platt. Do it. Well I'm gonna move it roll. So they get a six. Uh, Sykes first, so he got to take, I just moved him to take two. I'm going to kind of discombobulate here. Um, so here's an extended march roll for Sykes. He gets a five, so he does flip. When he loses one, he decreases because he's already flipped. He's going to go one, two, Initiative. Yours. Hmm. Okay. 
I have seen what he's going to do. It's time. Jackson will activate Yule. Plus two. Seven. Transfers to him. Goes one, two. He will hang out there. Initiative. It's mine again. Longstreet will activate Evans. To get a fatigue level one. And he gets a plus two. He gets eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Initiative. Pass. And then you should get hooker. Movement roll. C. Oh, extended march first. Fine. He's gonna lose a manpower. Five. Maybe. There. Missed it. Yours. I'll pass. Uh, I'm gonna activate um, Porter's Core, Morel, Pyatt, and Sykes. Here, I won't do the fatigue. Oh, the fatigue's one at a time. There's a movement roll. The six. I'm just gonna move them one hex over to 3618. So, this guy's gonna go to the next level. Here's the extended march. The four quarter is here's his fatigue to next level. His extended march is a six, so he flips. He loses one for going cross country. Um, Sykes, he's already flipped his extended march. Three, he's going to take three. Plus two, I think he's okay. So he loses one for going cross country. Yours. Well, I have to prevent you from getting into Sudley Church. That's that. That's huge, or huge, depending on who's saying it. Um, so I have to make an attempt at an assault with you. Bring him to the next level. And it will be against Porter. Here's his command. It goes off. Yep. So 14 to Jax. Porter. Yeah, I think I got the ratio covered, so assault. 
Tactical is a plus one. Jackson is a plus one. Uh, how's your artillery looking there? Zero. But, uh, it's eight to eight. So negative two. Um, and it's across a creek, so that's a minus one for creek. So it looks like I got plus plus three and minus three. Even odds attack, but I can't risk you sneaking in for seven points there. So I gotta do it. Uh, so it's, it's even odds. Here we go. Uh, negative two. Minus two. Minus two is one fatigue. And one fatigue for all my guys. And two D for me. Mm. So I give you some points back. But that was the one fatigue for Sykes, right? I always got their team, so Sykes is done. Okay. And the other two, uh, I need, yeah. They were, but I need a division, not a brigade, so that doesn't mean any good. Oh, okay, so it's got to be morale or nobody, huh? <clears throat> and, yep. Morale or nobody now. And you still have an unmoralized unit <clears throat> sitting there in Gainesville. Okay. Um, initiative! It's me! Still have Kemper Yeah, left. so it's hmm. gonna be. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, I gotta pack the line here a little bit. Um, I don't have to worry about. Pope Heinzelman's not going to be able to get there. Siegel is all demoralized, so he can't do anything. So I am free to move Kemper. Um, Don't underestimate Siegel. I know. <laughs> Concentrate on Siegel. <laughs> and uh, Morel would be four, and I need a couple. So I need to move, move them both in there. So I will. Um, so Longstreet will activate Kemper and Wilcox. Kemper goes to fatigue level one. And Kemper goes to two. And they get a plus two to this. That's not good enough. Actually, no, he can't. Yeah, he, Kemper can get there. Uh, he goes first along yeah. the railroad. So one, two, three. Yeah. His extended march is okay, and then they just move into there. Okay, initiative. It's me. I'll pass. Okay. I'm gonna try a core assault with what I've got left: Morel and Platt. So they go to four. That's against the uh, we... Longstreet, Wilcox, Kemper, Hext. This is going to be a prayer. Um, five. So that means only one of those guys get to go in. <laughs> <laughs> well, a half point doesn't really matter. Obviously, yeah. Obviously the big one. Minus one assault over him. I have plus one for the assault. Minus one for ratio. Minus one for artillery. Minus one for tactical. And minus one for the creek. It's always there. Oh, there's a creek. Yeah, so it's a negative three. As your assault. Negative three. I was going the wrong way. Yeah, negative three. Well, I don't think I have a whole lot of choice. Here we go. <laughs> Plus three. <laughs> Unbelievable. The six one split. <laughs> Again, that is unbelievable. <laughs> so it is a plus two. So what does that do to you? Man? Uh, so just a that's that's pretty huge. Uh, well, not not much for the the movement. It just means I got to work hard to get it back. Um, 
Okay. Uh, so I had 10. Times plus 2. Is a 1 DR. 1 DR. So, I, well, fatigue doesn't matter. Right. Uh, no losses. So I will give you a victory point for that. You did not take a loss? Um, plus three on the six is just a T. Nice. Big F. Yeah, all right. is T4. So, um, so I got to go back to... Um, One, two, some room for Jones. Um, yep, that'll, uh, actually I need to make sure that I have zone of control. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, come on in. This ship. It's mine. The pass. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to pass. Okay. Let's see what you're going to do. Right. Uh, so I'm going to activate DR Jones to fatigue level 2 with Longstreet. And he will get 4. Okay. Uh, his extended march is course. Big march. No, that's bad for you. Yep. Alright, so <clears throat> that's fine. It keeps us on the same column now. That is, that's actually really good. Okay, so he will transfer. And he will go one, two, three. Don't have enough to go any farther. Initiative. Okay, it's yours. I'm going to activate Buford. This is movement roll. Seven stacks here. So it's one, two. Four. Five and six. Okay. Initiative. Mine again. I'm gonna pass. Okay. Alright, uh, Hood will go to fatigue level 2 and march. Plus 1. Uh, extended march. It's okay. Initiative. I'm going to pass. Okay. Um, Longstreet activates Hood to F3. And he will get plus 2. It's 5. His extended march is plus 1. He's okay. Good. Um, One, two, three. Initiative. Yours. I'm going to pass. Okay. Um, Alright, we'll take a shot. Um, Long Street will activate DR Jones to fatigue level three. An attempt an assault on Porter. Uh, Buford has an option to camp retreat if he wishes. It won't affect He's anything. Gonna stay. He's gonna stay. Quick. I figured he would. <laughs> He's staunch. Um. Okay. So command roll is a fail. Ooh. Is a failure. Wow. Yeah. Mm, best laid plans, baby. 
Uh, T, I mean, uh, initiative. Mine again. Same thing. Same thing. Once more with feeling. <laughs> this time you'll get a one. Okay, here we go. Command. Here it goes. Got it. Long Street versus Porter. Mark two. Uh, we got a one for an assault. We got a one for tactical. We got one for Lee. And we got a final flank of plus one. Uh, we are sitting at a minus one for artillery. And a minus one for ratio. Plus two? Uh, I see it as a plus two. Um, there's no okay. creek in the way, right? No creek. Okay. Same. No, no creek. So for all the marbles here... This is a seven-point game-winning swing! There you go. Nope. Not to be. Not to be. Wow. Yeah. So that's a plus that, three? That is a mi minus three. Minus three. And uh, I believe that will end our game here tonight. Uh, minus three on a six is a uh, 2D. So I'm just giving you points. Ah, oh, boy, oh boy. Uh, an eight, that goes to 10. Still have Hood and Evans left. Yeah. Yeah, but at what cost? Um,. So I take away two to them, and I don't know why I'm curving. <laughs> <laughs> we still have Hood and Evans left. I do have Hood and Evans left. Okay, uh, initiative. It's me again. The problem with that is Evans has to stay in check, Hooker. Otherwise. Well, that's true. He yeah, will I just do the same thing. So the the numbers just aren't in my favor. Um, so I am going to I am going to yield here to this point. Wow. Yes. Um, with a final score of uh, eight points for Groveton, eight points for Gainesville, uh, two points for Railroads. Uh, we're going to go ahead and assume minus three here. And, uh, and then now the manpower differential has shrunk considerably to uh, two. So plus two on that. So I have a total of eight. Uh, I have 20 points. Oh, no, I'm sorry. 20 before the minus three. So 17. And that, I believe, is a marginal. USA victory, is that right? Or is that substantive? It's a marginal. 17 is marginal. All right. Well, there you go. Congratulations. Mm, that what, was, uh... Two weeks in a row now, Porter has been the clutch player. He comes from all yeah. the way down the railroad, and he wins the game in both cases. So, take... I'm still court-martialing, of course. <laughs> That's just... Take that as a lesson. He didn't follow his orders. His orders were... <laughs> Yeah, that was a really, really great game tonight. Um, you, you didn't, you didn't lose your cool. You kept it, you know, kept it by the numbers, and you got Porter in there, and he just, he kept grinding it out, grind, 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 and that last, that last attack, six one. Same, he did the Whoa. same thing last week. Last attack for you, six one, and. Uh, that's in your counter. Your counter. The counter too. both those of the counter, are, yeah, the counters fail. Yeah. So I mean those two last two attacks were uh, Yeah. I mean all they were doing was just giving you points. So um very well played. Very, very well played. So we got uh wow, it's twelve <laughs> <laughs> It is. Yeah. I'm sleeping in tomorrow. Uh and I'm gonna see if I can chop about three hours out of this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a lot of pauses. There is, so, there is. So it's just uh, uh, this is a really interesting scenario. Um, I'm glad I bought the latest edition because this is not in the old. Right. I I um, honestly thought 
I mean, of course, I thought I had it the whole time, but no, I thought I, ch I checked all the boxes. I got, you know, I got Gainesville, had Haymarket briefly. I, I sapped you out. I kept everybody away. And then Porter just snuck in that one spot. And I'm trying to think of what I could have done differently. I think, I think my little cavalry retreat after Franklin attacked, if I had not brought him down into the stack with Stuart, if I had kept him up there in, you know, Thornton, mm. uh, that would have at least been a brief roadblock to help. Yeah. But, yeah. You, you got some you got some clutch movement rolls with him right at the right time, and, and that 6-1, baby. That does it. Yeah. That, that, yeah. The, the dice roll there, that made the difference in the zone. But the, I think I, I messed I messed up moving them up. I don't have to rewind. I'm mean, glad you're recording this because I want to re rewind. Watch watch that. No, I think what, it was I good just, that you kept him where you. Uh, uh, yes, the only thing I would have done is when you put him on the north side of Bull Run. I don't think that was necessary. You should have followed the road along the south side and and threatened through Lewis Ford because that's why yes. I moved Long Street up there to to block that. Because that had me sweating there briefly. Because if you had gotten the initiative again, then you would have been right there, and then I would have to react to that. But um, I was just I was looking at you all and just going, if you came over and you know, the porter didn't have, you know, I was kind of I didn't have him well organized, and I wanted to get the creek between me and you, and between them and you. Right. Because I, I was just uh, they could well, they could get hammered, and then that whole. This, this gamble at the end, I wouldn't even have that card to play. Yep. Well, let's see. Let's uh, let, let me do the combat checks here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten combats tonight. So less than last time. Uh, and it looks like we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, six. Uh, six positive Confederate outcomes and four. Union ones, but those Union ones were clutch. The last three were yeah. all Union victories. Last three, yep. yeah. Yeah, Jackson and versus Porter failed. Porter versus Longstreet, yeah. huge success. And then Longstreet versus Porter again failed. Repulsed. You, you held on to games. Uh, yeah, yeah. Disheartening. No. <laughs> That's why we play the game, man. That's why we play. Yeah. Well, it's funny, we it we always say in Combat Commander, never, never, never quit, never surrender. And uh, and this one is the same thing. You just, until the last unit is expended, you don't know. But uh, I appreciate the game tonight, and it was a pleasure. And uh, thanks for watching, yeah. Lee. You are a hero. You're my hero. Yep. Yeah. But, uh, good, good, good job tonight. Great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, it was fun to play. Yeah. It's getting... To play every night. And uh, to everyone watching uh, later on after the fact, thank you for sticking it out with us, and uh, we hope yeah. you took away something from this tonight. He he has indeed bagged the whole crowd. <laughs> <laughs> you guys have a great weekend. Yep, you too. Thanks. Sure. Bye. Good night. <laughs>